Hey there, welcome to the Movie Review Mom YouTube channel. My goal is to give you the heads up on filmmaking quality and content so that you can make the best decision as to whether or not you want to spend time or money or both watching a specific film. Now, out of all of the movie reviews that I've done, this one may be the most mom-like video <laughs> because of the things I'm about to say. The movie I'm reviewing today is called Joyride. This extremely raunchy road trip is now playing in theaters. It is definitely rated R and I would probably give it a rated X. Not that I've seen any rated X movies, but it's that raunchy but I'm getting ahead of myself. The movie is an hour and 35 minutes and my movie review mom grade for this piece of trash is an F. <laughs> so you wanna know why? Well, I'm gonna give you an overview in a nutshell. I'll point out some things I liked and disliked, some themes worth talking about, definitely tips for parents. We'll take it from there. Okay, so in a nutshell, the story follows four Chinese American friends as they bond and discover the truth of what it means to know and love who you are while they travel through China in search of one of their birth mothers. So the film was directed by Adele Lim. She also helped write the screenplay with Cherry, now listen to this last name, hopefully I can say this correctly, Cheva Pravak Dumrong and Teresa Hisao, maybe? I don't know. I apologize if I pronounced your names wrong, if you two were watching. So on a personal note, I have been to China many times and I love it there. I took two of my sons with me the very first time I went on a speaking tour and we all fell in love with China and the people and the culture and food and everything about it. One of my sons even married a lovely young woman from Hong Kong. And now I have a little grandson with Chinese in his blood. So that's how much I love China. And I think partly that was what was so offensive about this movie is the people are lovely and traditional mostly. And then to see these raunchy Americans come trashing through their country was just embarrassing, really. But now I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me give you some tips for parents. This sex obsessed movie is definitely not appropriate for kids. And even a lot of adults, I mean, the whole time I was just like, oh, there is a lot of profanity and so many F-bombs. In fact, the very first word we hear in the movie is an F-bomb. And the very first word that we hear from a young little girl is an F-bomb. And it's supposed to be so funny, but it is certainly not clever. There are some young girls and they flip the bird many times. We see sexualized artwork and it's supposed to be so lovely and forward thinking and it features male genitalia. Young women talk about sex and genitalia, both male and female, many, many, many times. Mandarin is spoken a lot, mostly with subtitles that have to be read. <laughs> that sounds very mild in comparison to what I just said. And then like an X-rated movie, we see a bunch of people going at it. We see skin, we see motion, you know, and it, it, it's just too much. Uh, we also see a bunch of women doing cocaine, including hiding it in various body orifices. Uh, there's lots of alcohol, obviously the drugs, and on and on and on. I mean, the bulk of this movie was just filthy. That's such a word that my mother always used. Something is so filthy. But she was also talking about her house when it needed to be cleaned. <laughs> Some of the themes that the movie illustrates well are adoption, family, friendship, China, bullying, road trips, racism, body positivity, and sex. So there were a few things that I liked about this movie. First of all, I was so happy to see Ashley Park in a feature film. I absolutely love her in the popular TV show, Emily in Paris. Now season one was very cute. And then that show started getting really raunchy as well. And I was like, come on, you had a sweet thing going here. But Ashley Park is so talented and beautiful. She sings a little bit in this movie as well. She's got a, an incredible voice. 
Other cast members include Debbie Fenn, Kenneth Liu, Annie Mumolo, and David Denman, among many others. Now, the list of things I didn't like is very long. First of all, as I mentioned, the girls are so crude and vulgar, even as little girls. And then, of course, they grow up and they're worse. So why do feminists think that the only way that they can show they are liberated and free is to be crass and foul? One of the girls states about the Chinese people, quote, people around here can tell Chinese Chinese from American Chinese. Yeah, that's very true because the Chinese Chinese don't wear loud, obnoxious colors and clothes and have foul things flying out of their mouth every minute and uh, are super self-absorbed. You know, China is a very community culture and America is not. We're the complete opposite where it's all about me, me, me. And you can see that a mile away on a person. So the characters in this movie just slam white people, Chinese people, Americans, Christians, and many other groups. Honestly, I felt that this movie was an X-rated movie. Again, not, not that I've seen any X-rated movies, but finally, I just stopped watching it be long before it was over because I thought I, I was so embarrassed and disappointed that that's what this movie chose to be. Now, I know a lot of people are going to think it's awesome and hilarious, and the reviews on IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes are quite high, and that's so disappointing to to know that's what our culture values. And then people wonder why our culture, our country is going down the drains. You ask anybody from any political slant, you know, what do they think our country or where do they think our country is headed or where is it now? Nobody's happy. And yet they don't put those two things together. What happened to respect and virtue and on and on and on. I told you this was gonna be my most motherly review. So I did not watch this entire movie. I just was disgusted by it and thought that it just took the cheap way out for humor. You know, the lowest level of humor is about sex and bodies and vulgarity. And rather than be more elevated, you know, it took the writing and the writers took the, the easy low way out. Uh, and I know that if I had watched it to the end, I would have still been disgusted. But I know that there is a storyline in there where a, a Chinese American girl is adopted and finds her mother. I have no idea if that's a great relationship or not, but she finds her mother. And, you know, that's really cool. But if that's the, the end point, that's the payoff. And you have to sit through all of that gutter language and, uh, and visuals. Uh, then no thank you. There are other movies that talk about adoption and how beautiful it is to discover your birth parents and have a relationship with them, not this movie. So for all of those reasons and more, I'm giving this a rated F. So <laughs> there you have it. Um, I hope I'm not even going to give recommendations about other movies that are similar because you shouldn't be watching similar movies to this kind of garbage. Anyway, so I, I know that this place, this movie has a place, uh, but people will like it, but I'm definitely not one of them. <laughs> so there you have it. All right. Keep watching my other movie reviews where I actually watch the end of the movie and like them. Anyway, have a fantastic day and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.